Hi everyone, my name is Irit and this is my first process video, so please forgive me if I mess it up a bit, but hopefully I'll get better with time. Um, so for this layout I mostly use the Lucky Charm collection by Dear Lizzie. I think this collection came out about a year ago and I have a lot of it in my stash and I had this idea in my head so I kind of dug into it. Um, this is the paper pad and it has I think 48 sheets of uh, one-sided pattern papers and I chose a few that had mostly one color or one color and a neutral um, because I had this design in my head um, with like stripes of different colors so I went with a couple of uh, mint patterns a couple of pink ones a yellow one and a blue one I also took a paper from the Neapolitan collection that uh, mint paper with the circles because the colors uh, fit really well so here I'm just ripping strips of the pattern papers and uh, gluing them to the cardstock in the back and I wanted that ripped look but um, without the white edge uh, just to keep it not so busy because it's quite a busy background I would say and I really like this type of pages um, where you go with like a rainbow or some variation of rainbow colors and I think they're really happy and it's very fun then to choose the embellishments to fit the pattern papers uh, I actually saw uh, Vilna Furstenberg does that a lot and I really like it because you can really play with all your embellishments then um, I was trying to glue everything down and uh, being the messy scrapbooker that I am I don't like to measure things and I don't like to plan things so that leads to all kinds of situations like this one <laughs> where I just had to cut the pattern paper down and again and again until it was too small and the background was showing uh, which happens to me all the time but I made it work I just glued another piece of pattern paper there I don't think it's that um, makes such a difference this is not exactly a super clean design so um, I didn't mind it as you can see I chose um, red pattern paper also from the Lucky Charm collection this is from the uh, 6x6 paper pad uh, as my photo mat because I thought it really fit the photo and looked nice on that colorful background um, I cut down the photo a little bit so I can use the 6 inch uh, pattern paper and yeah here I'm making I'm trying to create uh, embellishment with my gelatos and I'm picking out um, colors that coordinate with the pattern papers if you don't know gelatos they are these really cool um, paint in gel form and they are very vibrant and have a wonderful um, color choice and I bought the big package the last time I was in the States and I love them um, I would like to use them a little bit more um, but I have to say I really like them um, with like white cardstock um, and as background or something and I usually scrapbook with pattern paper so I kind of find it a bit hard to incorporate them into more of my layouts 
So here I'm uh, coloring with gelatos these die cuts. These are really cool die cuts. They are from Heidi Swap and they have this resist on them, um, which means you can color them in, well, whatever you want, markers or ink or gelatos or spray mist, and the resist pattern will show through. And I wanted to color them with my gelatos for this layout, but I think at the end only a couple of them actually made it to the page. What I did was to um, apply the gelatos directly on the die cut and then I went with a water brush over it um, just to get a bit more even coverage. Uh, which is what you should usually do with the gelatos when you apply them directly they look very um, well not uneven and just not very good but if you um, smear the color either with your finger or what I like better with water um, it just becomes really beautiful you only need a really small amount of water um, to get this really great look. And what I also like about the gelatos is how wonderful they mix. You can mix the colors and you can make any color lighter with the white or darker with the black. So I think they're really versatile even if you don't get the biggest uh, package. They also come in sets of four. So what I'm doing here is um, just finishing it up and trying to clean my mat with partial success. Oh well. So now I'm trying to see where I like the embellishments and I'm just arranging them on the page um, with the colors in the right places and then I decided to go through um, my other embellishments from the Lucky Charm collection so I had these uh, chipboard pieces and I really love uh, chipboard embellishments because they give such a nice um, dimension to the page. So I really prefer um, chipboard to regular stickers and I think that's also usually the first thing I would buy from a collection is the chipboard um, packages. Here I added um, more chipboard. Uh, basically I searched for pieces that also had just the one color uh, so it look nice. I used that um, lovely chipboard die cut as my title. I'm not very good with titles so I'm very happy um, when they make <laughs> these words in the packages because that makes my life a little bit easier. I do like the look of titles but I can never come up with them and I'm also adding some stickers also from the Lucky Charm collection uh, from the sticker book and again I was searching for um, stickers with just one color so here the recording stopped because <laughs> I'm just not used to making videos. Um, but basically what happened was that I um, found a couple more stickers like that cute heart and that um, kite and a few more little chipboard pieces and I just adhered them in uh, different places. and. Then I thought I'd add some um, white gel pen just to the frame 
and of course the clever thing would be to do that in the beginning um, before adding all the embellishments but that's not how I do it because that would require thinking ahead a little bit which I never do and now I'm going around the whole page with the gel pen it's just I don't know lately I'm just doing that on almost everything so that's it for my page here are some uh, close-ups and some stills of the finished page I added some journaling and now I'm gonna buy a new microphone because the one I had just died on me so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time bye